On this episode of Weekend Reviews, we are talking about Q, the Winged Serpent. Sorry, it's a little bit late as well. For ten centuries it has waited to be awakened, to be worshipped again like a god, to fill the skies, to cast its shadow over the earth. NYPD detectives Shepard and Powell are working on a bizarre case of ritualistic Aztec murder. Meanwhile, something big is attacking the people of New York City, and only greedy small-time crook Jimmy Quinn knows where its lair is. To release its fury. <laughs> When this started, I didn't think much of it straight away. I thought the character Jimmy Quinn was really annoying, his acting was terrible. As I continued to watch it with my wife, I I began to enjoy this more and more. It was initially thinking, this is terrible, I want to turn it off. The more I continued to watch this, the more I got into it. I thought the effects of the monster were absolutely awful, but that's kind of the point. It reminds you of something much older than its original 80, 1982 setting. Today in New York City, the winged serpent rises. The winged serpent rules. The winged serpent. You've got the likes of David Carradine in the film, Michael Moriarty. The cast is good, and you've got um, Richard Roundtree, who plays the original Shaft in the movies. And, yeah, it's all over the place script-wise. The idea is pretty terrible. The legend has come alive. The location setting of the Chrysler building, for one reason or another, I won't give any spoilers away, is, is pretty interesting, and shooting on New York City in the streets in real locations is a lot of fun. I'd actually recommend this. Um, recommend this if you wanted to watch it late night, 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. Outside of that, it's it's not going to set any new records for being amazing or anything like that. Check out Q the Winged Serpent, and you should be able to see that on Amazon Prime in the UK. And then I'm sure there's other sources to find this. Uh, it's a low-budget horror film, horror fantasy. Out of five, I'd give this two stars.